All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of March the 20th, 2023. Brian and Michaela here with you. And Michaela, this week on the regular episode, we are talking about the Oscar Best Picture winner, uh, winner of a lot of things, uh, seven altogether, I think. But we're talking about everything, everywhere, all at once this week on the main show, Michaela. I'm very excited about it. We have an excellent cocktail coming for everyone. We sure do. Um, It is all the things that you would expect from everything, everywhere, all at once. And there may or may not be a fun bagel bite inside or around it. So everybody stay tuned for that. I'm very excited. Um, still on my Oscar high, I have to say. Uh, we I did super well in my You Pick'ems, and everybody I wanted to win pretty much won. So I, I'm still kind of flying over this. Um, but we did something, or you did something that was really special. We fa- found this lemon liqueur recipe that we liked, but we couldn't find the lemon liqueur. We You looked everywhere. I looked everywhere. And then you found a substitute, which ended up being really amazing. And then we, f- you found this amazing cocktail that we should share with everybody on the lobby bar with this substitute, maybe better than the original version lemon liqueur. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah, the reason we bring up uh, everything everywhere all at once, that cocktail this week is going to be um, including a lemon liqueur, and I couldn't find the exact one that we need. So I found a different one um, actually is local. It's from a, a distillery called Carolina Craft. So it's local to local to us. Maybe you have one out there. Let us know um, if you have any good lemon liqueur recommendations. But I had to pick it up and I said, uh, OK, so I'm going to use like a quarter of an ounce of this for the everything everywhere all at once cocktail. Uh, we're going to expect everyone to go uh, spend $25 on a bottle of this for that one cocktail. That's no good. We need to have an extra cocktail. So you're going to go ahead and get your bottle of it. So you get ready for the main show this week. But we're going to whip up uh, something that's called the Citrus Revolution. And this comes from the Carolina Craft uh, website, their cocktail section there. So I'll put a link to that in the description. But this one's really simple. Um, You can make this into a mocktail if you want, uh, which is awesome. Uh, Really good. And it's really kind of jazzy and pretty and more sophisticated than a lot of the other mocktails uh, that that you see out there. So uh, give this one a try, Michaela. So what you're going to do is you're going to take... In your shaker tin, you're going to put a slice of grapefruit, a teaspoon roughly of honey. You can just kind of eyeball it, just a a squeeze of honey, and three or four basil leaves into your shaker tin, and you're going to muddle that. You're going to squish up that uh, grapefruit, those basil leaves into that honey, so it's going to get all nice and kind of kind of the oils out of the grapefruit and bust up that basil. And then to that, you're going to add one and a half ounces of grapefruit juice and one and a half ounces of your lemon liqueur. Uh, And if you want to make this a mocktail, swap out the lemon liqueur for like a nice uh, quality lemonade, or you could probably use like a sparkling lemonade. Um, and this would be nice to give it uh, just a touch of effervescence, uh, add some ice, shake that up, and then strain that into like a coupe or a martini glass. Um, it's going to be grapefruity and lemony and honey-y and basil-y. And it's, uh, I don't, this one's real good, Michaela. I like this one quite a bit. It's refreshing. It's going to be perfect for the for the summer if, you know, these uh, cold, cold weather clouds ever get out of here. Right. Yeah. The weather here is, is, is very strange right now. Um, it, it was freezing literally like fro- frozen. The ground was frozen yesterday and it's the middle of March. That's not normal. But, uh, when the sun comes out, this is going to be amazing. I, I really love this basil. I've got to say, because we do a lot of grapefruit juice, uh, drinks. I think it's really cool to add, uh, that we're adding something else. Cause we do a lot of grapefruit and mint and we've done a lot of grapefruit mm-hmm. and rosemary. Um, our our Oscar drink, uh, the uh, tequila Paloma, had a lot of grapefruit juice and rosemary in it. Um, so this this is a nice take. Uh, I don't think basil gets enough love from cocktails, so that's mm-hmm. exciting. Yeah, this is very tasty and um, easy to find. I'm so I didn't realize that uh, Carolina. I mean, I should say that I didn't realize that Carolina Craft um, was actually local to the Carolinas. I thought it was just a name. So I also feel better about supporting something that's local. So if you're in the Carolinas, um, you should definitely pick up this liqueur because it's very tasty. Yeah, absolutely. So give that a try. Or like I said, if you have any other lemon liqueur uh, recommendations, let us know and then uh, stay tuned for when everything everywhere all at once uh, drops this week because you're going to need that lemon liqueur again for that cocktail. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind as we go through our week here. And uh, what are we keeping in mind as we get to the box office? Uh, Spoiler warning, Michaela is actually traveling. She is in the mile high city of Denver, Colorado right now. So uh, we don't know how the box office went. We're going to assume that it went something like uh, Shazam uh, took the weekend. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Shazam's not going to do as well as uh, they're hoping that it does. But I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll check back in on on that next week. So uh, let us know if you're going out to see Shazam, uh, Fury of the 
gods fury road i was fury something fury fury of i think it's shazam. fury of the gods i think i think fury. he had it i think that okay. was right <laughs> that, that was right yeah see my shazam knowledge uh top notch for sure so uh that's probably going to take the weekend uh we still have some other stuff uh you know going we've got creed out there we've got scream out there um, you know, we still have avatars still play it out there. You know, all the things are, are still out there. So uh, there's going to be a lot of things to see, but we've got a couple of new releases, Michaela. One's going to be a smaller release. It's it's getting a wide release, but uh, The Lost King is coming everyone's way. It's uh, directed by Stephen Frears. It was written by Steve Coogan, a couple of uh, Oscar uh, nominees there. Um, this one looks pretty fun, Michaela. It's kind of this... Uh, amateur sleuthing uh for yeah. the for the lost king of uh England, right king richard the third so excited about this film i and i don't even really know why i well no i do know why because we saw the preview and i think we saw it together when we were watching one of the films one of the oscar films but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it looks um really compelling i'm i'm super excited i love sally hawkins um i forgive her for um the water movie that she made Wow. Um, so <laughs> wow. I know you love it. Um, yeah, no, but she's amazing and, uh, she deserves all the accolades in the world. And I'm super excited to see, uh, this story. It's based on a true story. I feel like it is, um, finding the Richard the third. So that's exciting too. Um, but the other one that I think is probably going to get more hits on the old barometer of the, uh, movie house is John Wick four. And uh, I don't know, have you ever watched any of the John Wicks? Yeah, so John Wick 4 is coming out. It's definitely going to get uh, more hits, quite literally, um, as John Wick storms around and beats everyone up, I guess is what John Wick uh, does. But no, I have not seen any of the John Wick films. Uh, the first one came out in 2014, uh, then 2017, 2019, and uh, now John Wick Chapter 4, 2023. Um, I have to say, I'm pretty excited about this, uh, despite its long runtime, two hours and 49 minutes, which is absurd uh, to watch Keanu Reeves just walking around shooting people for the fourth time, uh, probably. But this has got uh, Keanu Reeves, obviously. It's got Donnie Yen. It's got Bill Skarsgård. It's got uh, Lawrence Fishburne, which basically means that John Wick is one of the uh, universes within uh, the Matrix, I think. I don't know for sure, but uh, this looks pretty good. I might have to, maybe I'll have to do like a John Wick binge here in the next couple of weeks and, and get out to see this. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe we'll cover, maybe we'll take a look at John Wick and talk about that on our Patreon, patreon.com slash uh, drink the movies to help get me prepared for all yeah. of the shenanigans Mr. Wick is getting up to. Yeah, because I do feel like although the story arcs are quite similar, and you're right, it, it it's a shoot 'em up. It's one of the most sharp uh shoot 'em up, you know, slash 'em up revenge kind of films <laughs> out there. Up. There's a reason why they're making four of them and it has developed this cult like following. Um mm. And we should talk about it because I think the, you know, the first one really did a lot of cool things um, for, for cinematically, believe it or not. I mean, it's, it's there, it's kind of a special, it's kind of a special series out there. So I, I do think that's going to definitely rake uh, the, the money in uh, more than uh, the Lost King. But um, I'm excited about both of these because I really feel like the Lost King uh, could have some Oscar potential for next year. And I want to get as many of those in as possible because I don't need 54 to watch in six weeks. I want to avoid that. That's right. Oscars is a state of mind. They have to be in year round. But yes, yeah, so John Wick 4 uh, coming coming your way uh, this coming weekend. So let us know at home if you headed out to see Shazam. Let us know if it's excellent and we need to uh, stop dogging on Shazam and check it out ourselves. Let us know if you're excited about The Lost King and let us know uh, where you think John Wick number four ranks in the hierarchy of John Wick films. Let us know all that. Let us know if you make a citrus revolution. Uh, send us pictures on the social medias and all of that stuff. And then next week, uh, be on the lookout. Michaela is going to bring back a cocktail from Colorado, no doubt for everyone, and stay tuned for everything everywhere all at once on the main show this week. But for now, Michaela, I'm going to go I'm going to go take a nap because I have four John Wicks to get through uh, here in the next week or so. So I'm going to go do that and we will talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.